What's up? How's it going, Rudy? Pretty good, man. How are you? I'm doing where, very, very, where, very good. Where are so, you? Uh, what's that? Where are you? I'm in an undisclosed location. Okay. But uh, anyway, I'd like to welcome everybody to another episode of The Water Cooler. Uh, we're coming to you live from McCallum Public Library on Wednesday, July 15th. On a very, very hot summer afternoon. It seems like we say that every every week, but it's only getting hotter. It's the truth. It's it's the uh, it's the unforgiving truth. What was that movie? That the Al Gore one? I'm not sure. What movie are you talking about, man? The Inconvenient Truth. There you go. Oh, uh, well. You know, so, Al Gore, he invented the internet. We have, a, we have a very special show for everybody today. Um, so t two reasons. Here we go. Okay. Two. Okay. Gotta keep up, Rudy. Two. Yeah, yeah, two. Okay. Yeah. So we have a special guest. We won't say who it is. Some of you might wow. already know if you've seen our promo. Um, and we also, uh, we don't have, we don't have topics that we're going to talk about. We, um, we're going to do a Q and A. So we, uh, reach, we ask people to submit their questions. And uh, we'll be answering those live today. We picked the best of the best. We had over a thousand questions that were asked. One thousand, thousand. One that what? No, one thousand and two now. A thousand. Okay, that's another one. So we picked our, the top our loyal, five. our loyal <laughs> viewers. They they reached out to us. They reached their hands out and they said, "Please take my question. Please yes. answer this. They need to know yeah. our our views on stuff for some reason." Right on. So uh, Beverly, uh, which is, she's a regular viewer and former library employee. Hello, Beverly. We miss you. Uh, she says a very special show. Yeah, it's a pretty special show. So uh, let's uh, get right to it here. Um, today, July 15th, it's uh, Famous Birthdays. We got uh, actor Forrest Whitaker. Love him. Um, yeah, yeah, he's awesome. NBA he's player Damian Lillard. Don't know who that is. He's he plays for the Portland Trail Blazers. Okay, cool. He's a, he's a superstar in the NBA. Okay, we got a punk rocker, Marky Ramone of the Ramones. Happy birthday, Marky! I got to see him play um, both with the Ramones and as a uh, Marky Ramone, and uh, he had a band. Basically, they were touring, doing Ramones covers, and a couple original. Anyway, nice. um, yeah. And then we have the painter Rembrandt. Those those are all famous people born on July, what is it, 15th? 15th, yeah. Pretty good day for birthdays. Uh, eh. Rembrandt? Eh. The famous Rembrandt, Forrest Whitaker, the last king of Scotland? True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's move on, man. We we, we got a, we got a yeah, big show today. So uh, today is national. Well, it's National Give Something Away Day. So what I'm giving mm. is our, this show to the people out there. <laughs> this that's content, my, this yeah, hashtag that's, content. That's my thing that I'm giving away today. Um, nice. Today's also let's see, National I Love Horses Day. That's my kind of day. I love horses. National Tapioca Pudding Day. I'm not big on the tapioca pudding. Yeah, no. Nah. National Pet Fire Safety Day. Um, for all you pets, for all you pets out there, stay fire safe. Yes, whatever that means. National Gummy Warm Warm Day. Warm Warm. Gummy National worms. Gummy Warm Day. Yeah. You like gummy yeah. worms? They're good. Yeah, gummy worms, gummy bears. How about the sour you ones? You like the sour ones? Just normal, just the bland ones is fine. All right. Don't have to be too crazy. All right, we got National Zookeeper Week for all our zookeeper watchers out there. I know there's at least five of you. So hello. I say, so I say, I say close all the zoos. I say close the zoos down. Are they closed? I think they should. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it, it, I, I thought they were closed. I assumed they were. No? 
Let and uh, one last one, one last one here. Everybody deserves a massage week. That I, I can get behind. That. Yeah, I mean, that it's, I can been, get behind. it's been a rough last couple of days, weeks, months, year. years, <laughs> decades. This whole this decade already is it's off to a bad start. Can we say? Yeah. Can we say I mean, that? It's not, it's not the decade's fault. It's more of Oh, they're signaling me. Uh, I guess we're getting popsicles today to cool off. Okay. Well, tell them we're doing something else. Okay. I, I just, I told <laughs> them. Anyway, uh, we have a very special guest today. This is our first time with you and me having a guest, right? I've had yes. guests in the past, but this is our first time. guests while I was out. Right. Uh, but some good, some bad. Mm. <laughs> I'm I won't kidding. comment on that. They were all good. Let's see. Wait, well, before we move on, though, sorry, sorry. We have a comment by Beverly. I'm going to Rembrandt's birthday party at social distance, of course. Oh. Nice. See, I didn't get invited to that party. I'm sure there's a Facebook group you got to. And she does say she misses all. So. We miss you, Beverly. Okay. So, uh, so bring, let's, the, uh, bring, bring the guests in. Our Let's bring in our guest here. Um, Drum roll. Ready? Hey. <laughs> Who are hey, you? Who are so, you? Why are you here? So I'm Nicole. I'm one of the reference librarians here at McAllen Public Library. And I'm pretty new to MPL still. It's been a little over two months. And I love books. I love plants and I love corgis. What is That's your favorite me. type of plant? Um, the fiddle leaf fig. She's making that up. Fig. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> we don't believe you. No, she's probably telling the truth. She's a reference librarian after yeah, all. Yeah, I know. True. Okay, and what is a corgi for those of us that don't know? So the corgi is a Welsh corgi. It's a breed of dog. So they're really cute ones with short, stubby legs and big, poofy <laughs> butt. <Bottoms. laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And do you have a corgi? Is that why you like I them? I do. You're, you're a fan. Yeah, oh, I have yeah. two. I was going to say, what? she probably has more than one. Mm -hmm. Why? So everyone's one? saying hi, Nicole. So hi, Julia. Julia's saying hi. Everyone's saying hi. Grace, Grace is saying hi. Hey, Grace. Beverly is saying hello. Hi, Beverly. Oh, so, well, welcome to the water cooler. We're, I'm glad you're here. Thanks. And uh, let's jump right into the questions, so, shall okay. we? You've been, you, Nicole's been on other streams, right? You've been on Strange Readings. Yes, with Allison. That was really fun. And, and you do the bullet journaling stuff. Yes. Okay. I'll mention so you that know, later. So you know the drill, you know, no cuss words, no, no speaking outside of the bubble, you know? <laughs> We're in the bubble. Stay in the bubble. Stay on the script. All right. So first question <laughs> here. It's a question by uh, Beverly. Uh, how have you and your family friends kept in touch at a distance? I can go first because okay. I'm the... We'll just go in order. Yeah, yeah, we're like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. All right. So because we, we can all see where you're pointing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> for me, I use we use um, Google Duo. So I installed it on my dad's phone. I installed it on well. So my brother who moved away recently, he bought a Google. Um, God, what are they called? Little Google Home. It's it's got a it's a screen. It's got a little camera. So. Yeah, uh, we've been using technology to keep in touch. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, in fact, my baby daughter, she's out of town, uh, family emergency. And um, yeah, we've been, uh, before bed, I, I've been talking to her uh, using Google Duo. And uh, I miss her. I miss you, Amara. Uh, <laughs> anyway, go she's ahead. watching right now. She's, she's, she's not, crying right now. She's watching. No, um, are you the type of parents that talk to her like a, an adult already, or do you still do the, the baby talking? Um, I do both. I do both. 
So, yeah. Okay, well, my family and I, we use WhatsApp. I know that's kind of an old app. It's not very fancy or anything. It's just basically a group text. WhatsApp, Messenger on Facebook, and messages on phones. Very simple. We don't really FaceTime or anything. Unless it's unless I'm with my mom, and then I'll FaceTime my nieces. Or if I'm with my brother and his daughter, we'll FaceTime my sister's daughters. Cool. So yeah, so just basic stuff. Technology. Yeah. Technology, yeah. Yeah, we don't do carrier pigeons anymore. <laughs> snail mail. Yeah, same here. I use FaceTime. I think mostly text message too with friends and family, group chats. But um, if it's somebody out of town, it's FaceTime. Do they have to be out of town or just? Or just well, like, like my, my mother-in-law lives in Arkansas, so we FaceTime her. Wow. Yeah. Arkansas. Arkansas. Facebook That's Messenger, a regular text. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, technology seems, question. To be, seems to be the answer for everybody. Um, no one's writing letters or uh, sending postcards, telegrams, uh, Morse code. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Smoke, smoke signals. Smoke no, signal. Yeah. All right. We'll jump on to the next question, which is by um, Grace. Grace. What weird food combinations do you really enjoy? Uh, I'll let I'll let someone else start. <laughs> I'll start. <laughs> okay, so it. apparently this is weird to some people. I don't think this is weird, but I think th this is I think this is the most normal thing. But when I eat ketchup, when I eat fries, I almost spoiled it there. When I eat fries, I need ketchup and mustard in a mixture. And then dip the fries in. No. If you're if you're in agreement, an abomination. If you're agreeing with me, if you're agreeing with me, let me know in the bottom. Ketchup, okay. 50 50 percent ketchup, fifty percent mustard. Boom, both at the 100%. same time. No. And dip. no. Yeah, that's a big no from us, Rudy. I'm pretty yeah. sure you the comments are, will will be on our side. Yeah. Um, ketchup mixed with mustard. What's the big deal? They're in this. They're <laughs> you eat them together. They're both in the same sandwich. They're the like burger. opposites. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Opposites. Like okay, when I get when I eat anything that um, requires condiments, right? Like my veggie burgers, I do not put ketchup in them. I put mustard. When I eat French fries, I don't even eat must. I mean ketchup. I don't like ketchup now. Ketchup no. <laughs> Uh, ketchup no. Ketchup okay. no. Grace, Kika, yes, thank you. Well, comments are coming in pretty <laughs> fast. They're they're all for me. They're all in agreeing. They're all agreeing with me. What? Veronica agrees. Like Grace has done it. Okay, Rudy's ketchup and mustard mixture with Dijon mustard works very well at a glaze for meatloaf. Oh, well, okay. Oh, but on fries, okay. no way. What? <laughs> Beverly, Beverly. So it turns out orange? Yeah, yes, what it turns orange. Yeah, orange. Uh, that's that's nasty. Uh -uh. You guys, okay, and you guys are probably the same type of people who dip your fries in the shake, right? There you go, fries and frosties. Oh, no. yeah, that's so no. good. Yep. No, that's illegal. <laughs> okay, okay, so. What, uh, what about you guys? Nicole, well, the only thing I thought of was um, hot Cheetos and pickles. That's like common, isn't it? Down here in the valley, I think yeah. it's pretty yeah. common. Um, I mean, yeah. hot Cheetos and lemon is fine with mm -hmm. me or limes. So I like, um, I don't do it anymore, but when I was younger, I used to take the saltine crackers okay. and squeeze lime on them. And I would eat that's not that. That's sometimes, not sometimes that's all we would have to eat <laughs> growing up. As like you know, I mean, I don't, I don't mean like as a full meal, but as a snack. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That was kind of different. I've never heard anyone else um, ever mention that they do that. Okay. What about those those the raspas the raspas yeah. with the pickle in it, right? Yeah, piccadillies. Piccadillies, <laughs> and then they put a Kool Aid mix in there sometimes mm -hmm. too. Yeah, that's a little extreme. Hot right. Cheetos, 
limon, pickles, and cornets, yeah, the marinadas. That, is that what they call them? The, yeah, it's what is it? It's yeah. hot cheetos and it's cheese, cornets, yeah. pickles, lemon. Sometimes they put like other chips in there too. Yeah. Well, let's move on here. That was a very interesting question. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Grace. Okay, do you think aliens exist? This is also Grace's question. Another very interesting question. Nicole can start this one. Go for it. Um, yeah, I feel like there are probably life forms out there. The universe is so vast. I feel like for us to be alone, that would be pretty incredible. So maybe. That's a maybe for from Nicole. Rudy? I say they are definitely... <laughs> Yes, there has to be aliens. There has to be. Yes, I say yes, hundred percent. Because yeah, yeah, like Nicole said, we're so vast. Yeah, this universe is like never ending. There has to be someone else out there, another okay. race, another species. Even if it's like a little plankton sized right. thing. Mm -hmm. Well, my answer, I think, is going to fall in line with what you guys are saying, uh, pretty much. Um, they exist, and not only do they exist, but I've met I've met one. Okay, where? Um, so I used to do a YouTube um, YouTube show. It was called the life The Life of Bob. There's I think I did over a hundred episodes, and if you go back and watch a couple of those, and if you look in the right place, I, I don't want to give too much away, but. You're just plugging your YouTube channel. No, 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 no. This is this is something <laughs> else. This is something uh, bigger than that. If you look in the right episode in the right place, you might see an alien. And I'll leave it at that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Veronica says yes. Unsolved mysteries. That show did a lot to to spark people's imaginations with extraterrestrials and stuff. True. All right, let's move on here. Um, let's see. Next question. If you could live in another country, which one would you live in? That's also by Grace. Grace had a lot of good questions. Too bad we yeah, can only use three. I want, pe I want to see what other people would say on this one, too. This one's a really interesting one. Yeah. Uh, so I, if I could live in another country, I mean, the only thing stopping me really is – um, money, right? Because if you it's have plenty thing. of money, you can have a house here, 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 here. Um, it would probably be, um, let me see, Germany? Germany? Yeah. Germany. Okay, well, why Germany? You, do, you, do you speak any German? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, What's you know, no? I, I think Germany only because I love ger German soccer and I would love yeah. to experience like game day, match day, like uh, in Hamburg, that's for example. Nice. Um, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to live there forever, but I would like to live there for a while during a uh, football season. So just – what, a couple months, five months? Right? <laughs> yeah, and then fly back to, you know, my my home in uh, New York. and. <laughs> no, you're going to come back to McAllen and you're going to say, man, I kind of miss Germany. Maybe. <laughs> Not going to miss the food, though. I will say, yeah, the food is a big thing, man. Germany, German food. I mean, are you into, like, sauerkraut and, like... <laughs> I'm not. I would take tacos. I would take like enough like supplies to make myself tacos. <laughs> you can and start a, your a own. Big taco bag of truck. Beans. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I would. I would do Italy. Italy would be awesome. Italy. They have good food, and also the soccer. There's more history, I think, in Italy. There is a lot of history. I mean, there is in Germany too, but uh, you know, not that kind not of history. So good history. <laughs> Well, Italy was also kind of on that same thing anyway. That's true. So I say Italy, but I need to learn more Italian first. 
Nice. So, um, sorry, before we move on, I think Beverly's having problems with uh, her, with the stream freezing. Is anyone else having uh, the same issues? But, um, Good all right, are we moving? Nicole? Nicole. Yeah, I think I would choose somewhere like Switzerland, or like Sweden, maybe. The neutral country. Yeah. Or um, maybe Japan. Japan would be awesome. Japan would be cool. Yeah, I changed my answer to Japan. <laughs> oh, I remember, yeah, Grace was actually, she went to Italy and she said, Italy cost of food was pretty decent. Yeah, they have like little portions of like cheese and crackers and like there's wine and you just sip the well, wine. It's like, I can put some I'm lime full. on the crackers, man. Mamma mia. Put some lime in the crackers and the wine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't see that uh, that, uh, <laughs> that remark there. Vietnam to retire, pretty cheap, super cheap. All right, let's keep this train moving here. Um, so this question is from Davina. Hello, Davina. Uh, what are your top three favorite movies? Um, might keep changing. Like might change, but um, let's see. Right, right off the top of my head, American directors. I'm gonna say Godfather one and two, and uh, I really like an Italian film called The Bicycle Thieves. Yeah, I cry every time I watch it. That one's on Canopy, by the way. There you go. Everyone check out <laughs> Bicycle Thieves on Canopy. Quick plug to Canopy. Um, I would say I always bring up Paris, Texas. Paris, Texas. I should have I should have thought of this one. <laughs> um, Don't you like the Gremlins? Seven Seal. I like Seven Seal a lot. Um, and then I guess a comedy I would pick. National Lampoon's Vacation. <laughs> no, I never saw those. What? There's like a bug flying around here. Um, I don't know. Lion King. Classic. <laughs> Wait, the animated or the new whatever, live action, whatever it was. Is there a live action one? There was something recent. Uh, no, it's just the first one. All right. Nicole? Yeah, so I love The Professional. With um, Natalie Portman, came Radio out in the nineties. Yeah, um, I think most, or if not, I mean, yeah, the majority of Wes Anderson films, The Royal Tenenbaums, Moonrise Kingdom. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. and um, True Romance also came in came out in the nineties. It's really good. Never heard of that one. You never heard of true true, true true romance? I no. think it was written by um, uh, Quentin Tarantino, but it was directed by somebody else. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember who the director is. Ch Chunking Express is that one is good too. Yeah, yeah that one's an awesome that. movie. City of God is really Classic. good too. It's a, it's a Brazilian movie. Yep. And of course, you know the wedding singer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Bridesmaids is really funny. Now that we're talking about wedding, Bridesmaids is good. I'll switch out Lion King for Bridesmaids. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late, Rudy. I hate the Lion King now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very sad film. I can't watch it. Yeah. I watched it one funny. time, but I, I fast forwarded to the end. Yeah, the middle's you just yeah, you singing skip and dancing. The middle. What's the beginning when they hold the little... <laughs> Lying up and then <laughs> skip to the end where they drop them <laughs> off the cliff. <laughs> and then the like, is that the same? Is that the same Simba as earlier? It might be a different one. All right, let's move on here. Uh, can you recommend any books on dealing with isolation? That was asked by uh, Saul, right? Yeah, yeah Saul. Saul, my brother. Is, so actually, is, Saul here? is he here? <laughs> I don't know. No, he probably isn't. Um, 
So one of our librarians recently posted her ebook stress relief collection recommendations. So I'd recommend checking those out. So I'm just gonna click, it's a video. So I'm just gonna click a little bit of it until she talks about some of the videos, um, some of the movies, books. Books. <laughs> So these are some of her ebook recommendations for stress relief. So there, I know a lot of books about isolation, like being self-isolated or like well, what, feeling what, isolated. Yeah, what's that book about uh, that guy who gets stranded on an island? Treasure Island, is that? Call of the, there's know. Call of the Wild, where he goes out there, there's right. a, uh, uh, Henry Thoreau, where he goes, lives by by himself in the cabin mm. in the woods. Yeah, Walden, right? It's called Walden. I've never seen that one. Uh, uh, into the Into the Wild. It's a nonfiction book um, about Chris McCandless. They made a movie yeah. by, directed by yeah. Sean Penn, uh, where he uh, goes out and just lives out in the woods or in the wild. I the guess. wilderness. Yeah. The wilderness. Yeah. Oh, there's that one. Hey, wait, did you, oh, sorry, we didn't finish seeing that. <laughs> I was just going to name the, the books for stress relief. Happiness sure. is a choice you make. 10% happier. Meditation for fidgety skeptics. That would be you. Together. <laughs> and the book of joy. Let me see, is there any more? No, that's all she included. But this YouTube's video is on our YouTube page, obviously. So mm -hmm. if you need any more stress relief Recommendations go to that. Veronica Calendar. recommends don't sweat the small stuff. For, so deal, dealing with isolation. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Buddha is the Buddha is as Buddha does the ten original practices for enlightened living by Surya Das. Nice. Sounds kind of like yoga stuff, like yogi. <laughs> Try some meditation, Saul, or just call me. <laughs> All right, so we have a question by um, Dominic, and what he's the, asking, Dominic? what's the the next touristy vacation you plan on taking? Um, I mean, I miss the beach, right? Uh, we have a <laughs> we have a beach like just an hour's drive from from where we're at right now. So probably I I'm gonna say South Padre Island. Yeah, South Padre Island. I mean, San Antonio is pretty close by too. But I mean, not to be like a Debbie Downer, but like how soon or like, we don't know like when the next time really is to be safe enough to travel. I'm not even thinking about airplane travel anytime soon. But like, yeah, driving somewhere, the beach. Yeah, easy answer. Yeah, I think like, in best case scenario, out of state, like dream vacation would be um, like Utah or Arizona. Like I love nice. those desert landscapes and like the canyons. Yeah. Even Hawaii has like a, a travel ban, I think till September. So I don't think they're letting anyone any, I don't think they're letting anyone in Hawaii no. anytime soon. Right, yeah, for other people. Yeah. Vietnam. Vietnam. That'd be awesome. Why Vietnam, Veronica? What's going on over there? <laughs> oh, you obviously haven't watched Watchmen, Rudy, or else you would have. Haven't. Really? Is it? Is it in the show, Vietnam? It is. Okay. Yeah. No, I haven't watched it. Watched them yet. Machu Picchu. Grace. Yeah, either the beach or like Austin, San Antonio. Nice and close. All right. So I guess we're down to the very last question. And um, that is going to be a question that, would, that was asked by Julia. What are some of y'all's hobbies? I'll let someone else start this time. I'll go I first. Say. I mean... Oh. Sorry, I'll go first. Yeah, I, just, well, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I like it. it's not really a hobby, but video games, video gaming. 
is pretty fun. I mean, it's yeah. You just buy the video game and you just have fun playing it. I play a lot of FIFA or, oh God, full screen. <laughs> a lot of FIFA or like, I, I just got the NBA game, so I'm playing that one. Um, video gaming or just drawing. I have a, a journal that I just got. I'm always showing Nicole and yeah, I'm drawing in there. Pretty good. Uh, photography also is a big one. I like taking photos. Usually with my with my phone, since I have my phone with me at all times, or if I actually plan ahead, I'll have my my camera with me. But yeah, video gaming, yes, video gaming yep. is a hobby. Cool um, camera, like photo taking, and just hanging out. Cool, Nicole. Yeah, so that's a new hobby of mine: video gaming. I just got a Nintendo Switch recently. Playing mm. Animal Crossing nonstop. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I get home and I pick it up and I play all oh night. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did you play a handheld or on the screen? Handheld. I have a light, a Switch light. So, um, but yeah. So, definitely Animal Crossing now. And then I like to do hand lettering and bullet journaling. And I've incorporated those in my virtual programs. So, you can go to my LibGuide and check out all those videos. Nice. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'll pull up your lip guide here so people can see it. Cool. I'm getting so many ads. I have an ad blocker. Why is, this, why is Google doing this to me? All right, Bobby, go ahead. So uh, so I'm just, I want to read a couple of the comments uh, people are Writing in, um, Grace says, yes, video games are a hobby. Veronica, taking care of my succulents, watching K-dramas, cooking, riding my motorcycle, okay. uh, heckling my coworkers. I'm sure that's a joke. Uh, what is a K-drama? K-Korean oh, yeah. drama? Can I ask Veronica, which ones are you currently watching? Because I'm looking for one. What's a K? What is that? It's a Korean drama. So it's a Korean TV show or series. So like American TV shows, but in Korean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they're like very soap opera-ish, are they? Yeah. Yeah. There's anyway, a... so... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, no. so Go for it. The bullet journaling, is that? Yes, that's my libguide. So I post all of the uh, videos I've created on there with some info. And this is basically for beginners because I myself am also a beginner. And um, yeah, hopefully they're helpful. Nice. So just search McAllen Public Library, intro to bullet journaling and they'll find a couple. There's a, there's a bunch, right? You have like four or five. Yeah, I think so far I've made 10. Oh, even more. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Very right cool. on. So Veronica is saying to watch something in the rain. Okay. And uh, she says they're better than novellas. Yes. So, yeah. So my <laughs> hobbies, um, I, used, I, well, I like bike riding, riding my bicycle. Um, TikTok, uh, let me see what else. <laughs> Hey, no, you can't skip over that. You have to answer <laughs> for you have to answer for your for my your mistakes. Uh, what is so good about TikTok? I've I've okay. made my I, I've made my opinions on TikTok known back in the workroom. I'm not gonna say them now. Right. But why why do you prefer TikTok over other over stuff? Life over than being <laughs> in the present I mean, moment. No, yes. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of half kidding, but I mean, <laughs> sometimes I'll open up the app and I'll start watching it. And then next thing I know, it's like, oh, like four hours have gone by and I need to go, go to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. They're just, they're funny, distracting videos, right? To get your mind off of what's going on right now. Have you tried uh, TikTok watch a yet? Movie. I can, I can do some of the moves, like. 
But uh, let's this see, what the... else? Bike riding, I like uh, movies. I, I'm, I collect movies. I collect Blu-rays. I um, Podcasting, which I, I haven't done in a while, but it's something I like to do. Um, I like going for walks. Like It, it helps Me clear too. my mind. Walking around the neighborhood is pretty cool. Um, yeah, cooking. I like cooking. Uh, hang, just hang out in the kitchen cooking. Uh, hanging out with my girlfriend while we cook. We talk. Drink some wine. You know, it's pretty relaxing. See, Veronica says, oh, no, not TikTok. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. TikTok is not for... <laughs> TikTok yeah. is not for everyone. I get it, but it's it's fun. All right, well, it's been uh, another uh, great time hanging out with y'all, Rudy. I'll see you next week, right? Yep, yep. Hopefully, um, Nicole. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks Thank for you, having Nicole. me. I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe you'll come back some other I some will. other time. Um, and uh, once again, thanks everybody out there for watching. We uh, really enjoy uh, putting this show together for you all. Uh, you can find us on, uh, we're on, U on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. So if you uh, can, you can hit subscribe, like our videos. Um, you can share, comment on Facebook. Uh, anything else that I'm missing, Rudy? Facebook, MPL Adults. Yeah. Uh, yeah. YouTube, McAllen Library. Yeah, the links are Mark. they scroll down at the bottom. Uh, make sure to follow us, uh, comment, like, reshare, and um, make sure you fill out your census. Yes. Today was tax deadline day, so I hope everyone finished their taxes. <laughs> yeah. If not, come and get a tax extension form, ten cents a page, <laughs> prints. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess uh, we'll see y'all next time. Yeah. See y'all. Bye. Peace.